here I am. So this time I'm live streaming to my profile. I've got this group, got a couple of groups. So in my learning by doing group, Friday mornings, I'm typically committed to going live. So here I am. And I'm posting live on my profile this time. So it should go out, broadcast into all of Facebook. My other group is Dream Job UN and that's where I'm focusing now. I'm you can see my background. The picture is the United Nations in Vienna. It's the photo I took a week or two ago. Now that the fountain is working again. I just had to take a few background pictures there. I've just launched my mentoring coaching through the support of Christina Shlonsky and this week we've had three panel discussions tonight there's another meeting and all of the experts who spoke over the last week are available for you to listen to until next Tuesday and yesterday I participated in a panel discussion Christina has encouraged me to focus on what I really want and I recognize that is such an important thing for me to learn because here I am I started this learning by doing group in Facebook a few months ago and started going live on Friday mornings and I said I'd go down to the cafe downstairs and then they closed because they had corona then I understood I need to really focus on what I really want so I'm still launching this dream job UN project and still want to do so much more to update my website and I've still got my blog and I still support Women's Federation for World Peace so I also posted the video recording of our side event from last week at the UN onto the YouTube channel for Women's Federation for World Peace and right now I guess this is to fulfill my commitment in the Dream Job UN group here I am live being visible yet drawing your attention to my project. Oops, no, I think I just said something wrong. The uh, fulfilling my commitment to learning by doing. Okay. See, I, I am doing too much. Is it multitasking? Is it too much? Somehow I'm just convinced it's okay. I'm doing what I'm passionate about. I'm doing what I believe in and it will all work out. And so it's important for me to follow my heart, my intuition. Yet, of course, I respond to feedback, right? So I'm fulfilling my commitment to dream, to, to <laughs> learning by doing, yeah? And yet drawing your attention to the fact that I have this project, Dream Job UN, because that's a very small group. And the three sessions I've had so far, the recordings are only available to registered members. So you need to go to my web page and register. Or you can go to my Facebook group, Dream Job UN, and register, and you'll get access to the video recordings. And of course, I'm still doing that stuff for the Women's Federation, even though I won't be going to the meeting tomorrow in Bratislava for physical health reasons. I need to find the ways to really take care of my physical issues. So I'm exuberant. I'm actually very excited about the things going on. And I'm also keen for some feedback. You know, I will respond to queries and questions answered. So in the Dream Job UN project, 
I will be answering the questions of my mentee. In the learning by doing, I have already had actually a couple of other topics that I would like to cover. So I will be eventually doing some webinars, some learning, some lessons, some teaching in the learning by doing group. And I've set up my appointment opportunities through Calendly so you can make a date with me on my calendar. And these are the things that I'm still working on. I want to set it all up at the meeting this week with Christina Slonsky. The link was posted to my blog page where I posted the link to my web page. So I'm an open book. Everything is there. Yet I do want to focus because I recognize I will be much more effective when I focus. Yet, you know, Joseph and I, we just had a long breakfast. It's Friday morning. Yesterday was a public holiday here in Austria. And we had a leisurely breakfast after praying together. First I met with my buddy. Then we prayed. Then we had breakfast and had a long chat. And talked about lots of things. And you know what? This is how I imagined my retirement. I'm free to do what I want to do. I have breakfast with my husband. I engage with an international community on projects that I'm passionate about. I'm looking for people who really want to contribute to make the world a better place by sharing universal values of interdependence and mutual prosperity. I'm seeking to support people who want to work at the United Nations to help them through my experience, having worked as a data assistant at the IAEA, having been the staff, staff council representative in my division at work, having been the president of the Toastmasters Club at the UN in Vienna, still supporting the Toastmasters Club. And that's what we were talking about. You see, I'm still all over the place. I still need to focus. So what we were talking about was that aspect of having five children. So as the mother of five children, those 10 years I spent at home, they were very busy. And I'm still very busy because I, I'm very much alive. I'm exuberant. I'm exploding with energy, with life, with passion for the things that I love to do. I love supporting families. Joseph and I are dedicated to supporting couples in their relationships with each other, in building families. And as I said in the meeting yesterday, I, my passion about the United Nations is it should be the family of nations and the people working there should have a parental heart a heart of true parents reaching out to the world to heal the world to make the world a better place so that that's it today i've shown you the connections where it all comes together my dream job un my learning by doing the women's federation the family issues all of these things come together and what I'm really working on within my mind is the concept of time. 
because I recognized a few months ago that I have a an attitude of um, running out of time, not having enough time to do everything I want to do. It's so easy to, to think that you can't do what you want to do. And that's another type of a, a victim mentality. Oh, I don't have enough time to do it because blah, 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 blah. I don't feel like that. I know that I am blessed with everything I need to do everything I want to do. And even though I still have some goals, a few things I'd like to do, I'd like to be able to walk barefoot in the grass on the wet dew in the morning in my private garden when I wake up. This is a dream that I have that is becoming more conscious. And it's not because I'm dissatisfied with my current situation. It's because I see the next step where we can go. I'm very, very grateful that we are living in the middle of the city, close to so many facilities, to the United Nations, to my family. And yet I know now after these nearly four years of living in the middle of the city, that it was, it is a great experience. And yet this passion that I had when I first moved to Austria about my own house and garden, yeah, it comes from having grown up in Australia. You know, we had the house that Dad built, which hasn't been sold. It's been emptied out. And this week I saw photos of devastation of a fire that went through containers storing stuff at the block, which made me reflect on the meaning, the significance, the value of hoarding stuff. My parents built the house, my brothers emptied it out, a lot of that stuff from the 60, 70 years of living in Holt Street went into this container and it looks like from the photos I see of the fire, a lot of that stuff got destroyed. So I could think on, on my parents' life, on my life, on the meaning of, of life, on the meaning of relationships, and on the meaning of self. And I realized, and I said to Joseph yesterday, we need to consider our legacy and what are we bequeathing to future generations. So that's what I'm working on now on yeah, learning by doing, on giving, and focusing on truly sharing those treasures that we have. And that comes through building good relationships. Includes networks, support networks, communication network. So not all of my friends are on Facebook. My target group for Dream Job UN is probably on LinkedIn. But I'm a networker, so I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Facebook. I have WhatsApp. I have Signal, I have Telegram. Last week I met on Google Meet for the first time. In the same week I met on Teams, I met on Zoom, and I met on Messenger. So it's an exciting time that we're living in, that we can see each other, hear each other, 
and even talk to each other. This is one way I'm live streaming to the world over my Zoom, over Facebook. But you can reach me over Messenger, as somebody did from Cyprus last week. Over Google Meets, as my son did last week. Over Teams, as this other group that my husband and I are active in. We have amazing opportunities. You can book an appointment with me over Zoom through my Calendly account. Isn't it amazing? No excuse for being lonely, alone, or not to know what to do or who to talk to. I'm inspired. I'm grateful. And, you know, part of it is summer here in the Northern Hemisphere. We are entering the two months of the year that are the longest days. It gets light very early and stays light until very late. And I just love this time of year. No need for coats or jackets to go outside. It's so pleasant. I'm grateful. And I wish you health and happiness and success and drop me a line ask me a question give me some feedback i'd love to hear from you i know many of my colleagues from the un are signed up on facebook it, it is a way to, to connect to communicate how else would we know what we're doing and with such a long video you can actually see a little bit how how I really am, can't you? I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm doing fine. I am so grateful and I hope that you too are just great and getting better every day. On that note, have a great weekend and let's Keep in touch. Learning by doing. And if you want to contribute to making the world a better place and your dream job could be the UN, please connect. See ya. <laughs>